performance and delivery in the movie scenes. He's also a singer, which most people actually are going to be surprised to hear. Teaching, acting, and he currently works with the prestigious African International Film Festival to shape the next generation of actors on the continent. Believe that yeah. we are so glad to have you here, looking all humble and everything. But I the know one, you. The one, the only <laughs> Shagor himself. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> good, morning, good morning, Nigeria. Good, morning. good to morning. have good you morning. here. We've been looking forward to this segment, and mm. you actually arrived really early. I can't say. Yeah, it took a sleep of my eyes. Yeah, that's great. That's great. Good to have you here, sir. Thank um, you. I work honored. with you. And uh, I'm going to be exposing some of that here today. <laughs> you are a veteran when it comes to the Nigerian movie. And um, so you can imagine the wealth um, that he brings along with him and how many questions that we have that we want to ask you about. But first off, let's ask. This is, my, this is always my first question when I have uh, veterans in the studio. Um, there is this very interesting transition that movies in Nigeria has taken. In your own uh, overview, how has that um, impacted movie in general in Nigeria as it is right now? Well, it's not a new fact. Um, it happened in Hollywood. I'm sure even in Bollywood it happens. Uh, sometimes you go back and have a remake of a movie. And I think that's, that's the phase we're, we're passing through now. Mm -hmm. We've seen a play, uh, the company. Um, come with uh, neck at the participants. Yeah, They've yeah. also done Living in Bondage, uh, Breaking Free. And... Uh, they're doing rattlesnake as well, so it's it's it. I mean, Kinsley Ogoro is about doing uh, Osofia, yeah? the Osofia. Really? Yeah. Uh, oh, wow. Osofia is coming back. Yeah, <laughs> we're working on it. Um, so uh, it, it, it it it's it's something that happens. Zebajiro has just done Sako B. Oh. Yeah, he just finished shooting. Unfortunately, has just finished. We lost his brother Chico, yeah. and we all. Referring to Chico as late. Um, we're working on. Um, coming back with uh, the return of Black Arrow with uh, Nevada Bridge TV, um, and he, he passed. But we'll see how, how it turns out at the end of the day. Um, we might have to do it in his memory. Yeah. But it's, 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 it's not something that's new. People do it, and um, uh, I'm sure a lot of people do not even know Silent Night, but all they know is Black Arrow. No, <laughs> I, I, I yeah, so Silent Night. Yeah, Silent Night. So I know it was a trilogy, the first, second, and the third. Uh, Second was most successful, first was successful, and the third uh, was a bit of a successful disaster <laughs> because I think we <laughs> tried to outdo ourselves. Yeah. Uh, but um, quite a lot of youngsters will tell me, I grew up watching you, and I say, give me a walking stick <laughs> and, and, yeah. and all that. So uh, we want to bring back the story and um, refreshing people's mind. We might not necessarily make it the way they, they say, it might be a continuation of the, uh -huh. the life of, of, okay. of Black Arrow himself. But, but I have to say, it's, it's one thing to be a part of the industry. It's another thing to choose to be there mm. and choose to be there for so long. Mm. Um, because you've had so many different, uh, probably, opportunities to maybe veer out, go into other things. But you always have, you seem to have always just stuck to your guns and stayed in the industry. Because I trained. I prepared for this. Nice. Mm. I prepared, for, I prepared really for, for this industry. I knew I was going to be an actor. I knew I was going to be in the entertainment industry. Uh, my late father would tell me that he wanted to be a lawyer. So, you know, <laughs> they went on and there was nothing he didn't do to... Uh, not until he started watching me on TV was well and said, well, I think you chose your path. And so uh, I will encourage you. Yeah. So I, I believe that I could veer off or maybe acting, but I'll still within, remain within the confines of entertainment. But... I, I'm lucky to be blessed yeah. by God. I sing, write, produce, direct, mm -hmm. do, do PR work. Yeah. So I, I, I don't see um, any reason why I have to. Mm -hmm. Engineer, banker, yeah. well, the banker. But if you have them do, they have to say, okay, I have this passion for this, so let me go and do it. But this is here. Yeah. Uh, you know that saying, we die there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You've also taken that time to also impart some of this knowledge that you have um, to the younger generation of Nigerian actors. Um, is there a difference from your uh, kind of actors to the new set of Nollywood actors that we have? Are well, yes. cool-headed like you guys? Let's yes. Um, <laughs> were they cool-headed, though? No, were they were, were you guys? Cool, were, cool they were. We now, let me, let me tell you this. Um, <laughs> growing up, I, I... We didn't get this kind of encouragement mm -hmm. Mm. growing up. So it, it, it stopped. So when I got to the pinnacle, let me use the word pinnacle, yeah. um, 
I, I said that I was going to do everything I can to nurture the younger generation. Mm -hmm. I, I probably haven't said this, but let me just say this now. Um, it's a long story, if you permit me. Yeah. <clears throat> I knew that when I was growing up um, as a young man. Um, I just left secondary school. And you know where Daystar Church is now? Yes. It used to be, it used to be EMI okay. Records there in Oregon here. So I was singing, there was this young lady that called Ethan Maha. Mm. And she just don't want to, don't treat me like a child. And I was, everybody went crazy because she was young. So I was going out looking for who to help me to actualize my dream, dreams. Uh, dreams of singing. And so I went to the studio, EMI, they told me that I would see the man early in the morning. Mm. So I left home, we're saying that could do then. And then very early in the morning, I came, behold, there was this man in blue danshiki mm. who was seated outside. And I walked up to him, I said, sir, mm. please, I like what you do with the man. Would you please help me? He looks at me, so you just left something to do? I said, yes, sir. Um, why don't you go get a job as a clerk or something? What makes you think singing is for life of you? I cried all the way home. I no. said, Jesus, Jesus. Many years later, mm. I stopped by Gones. I'd released an album. I'd become, played uh, silent. I'd become a known face. And one day I went to a function, mm. and there was this man singing my name. Mm. Praising me. Wow. It was the same person who It was me. the same person. Wow. That's <laughs> an interesting story. Oh, oh wow. wow. <laughs> so I told myself, I'm not going to allow the younger ones to go through that. I'll mentor mm. them. Mm. I'll impact their knowledge. Yeah. Listen, you can't, you, we can't, because you know, they, they say that the grave is the richest place in the world because mm. a lot of people die with their knowledge yeah. and all that. But I want to do my own bit before I go. Just do my bit, impact on people, and do the best I can, because we didn't get that level of encouragement. How did you do that just now, first off? Yeah. At the end of that story, I got chills. Yeah. Because he saved all of that suspense <laughs> until, boom, the end. Yeah. Now, of that's course, a story that teller. goes with the... Exactly. <laughs> that's a storyteller right there. Mm. Now, do, do you also direct as well? I do. I'm a member of the Directors Guild of Nigeria. Fantastic. I See. do a lot of commercials, though. Um, mm. That's where the money is. <laughs> True. That's where the True. money is. True. Um, you know, but so um, I do quite, quite a number of, of yeah. things. Uh, but like you I still said, use your voice. Oh. Of course I do. Oh. Still. You worked with me, didn't you? Yes, so we worked <laughs> so, together. Uh, May I use this opportunity to say? <laughs> <laughs> I was actually going to say that it was your voice mm -hmm. that made me actually want to go Stop patronizing <laughs> him. Stop I've said this to him before. Yes, she has. I've all, said it to him before. Fairness, in all fairness, she I has. I have. In all fairness, she I has. I started doing voiceovers yeah. because I, I heard yours. Thank you. I, I, I can't remember the name of the commercial now. And your husband was very good. Oh, he's goodness good. me. And, <laughs> he's, and he's, I was like, he's good. if he could do it, why can't I? You know, um, and it's, I always felt like no matter how my looks could fade, mm -hmm. my voice would never fade. Very true. I yes. got a lot so, of influences when I was doing voice over. One of the major influences was Sunny Rabo. When I was working in the Tampabalo Ascada, Jaka Films, with Tinder, he walked in one day, he was, wanted to do an urgent voice, mm. and he did voices, and he said, you, come, 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 come. Wow. And I started trying, and that was how it started. Wow. It just happened, and then <laughs> Bissio Latilo, that was also helping in place, you know, mm. yeah. and well, I had a lot of fun working with both of these uh, right. great guys who were at the FRC and there. Mm. Now, so. I, I like to put people on the spot, but I'm going to ask for names this time. <laughs> now... <laughs> You belong to a very, very rich class of actors and veterans. Um, we have the new age. Mm. Um, who's the one person or people that you have your eyes on um, mm. for the big future? I'm yeah. talking about young actors now. <coughs> Among the young actors now? Yes. Yeah. Both uh, male and female? Male yeah. and female, yes. Or one of <sighs> each. Hmm. Yes, this is it. It's the awards now night. You have your eye on. Alex Okubo. Say again? Alex Okubo. Alex Okubo. Mm. Kunle Remy. Nice. Oh. Stan Ze. Oh. oh. Um, Sambasa. Okay. Hmm. If I see, I'll see myself in Sambasa. Wow. <laughs> Sambasa Be, Nzeri Bay. Okay. Um, hmm. uh, Belinda Efa. Ah, nice. I, I like Belinda too. I like uh, yeah. <laughs> my baby sis. <laughs> uh, hmm. Nazo. Okay. The list is endless. I know they're not pretenders. Nice. They've okay. come to face the business and... Okay. And I'm still not showing some new on both male and female. I'll very soon I'll unleash them. All right, then. <laughs> um, 
Yeah. <laughs> so, I, no, I was going to say, you know, we didn't really get to touch on family life at all. Mm. Um, you know, because being in industry and having a family, is, it's, 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 not the, it's not the easiest thing to do and mm. maintain. And, you know, you've had quite a story <laughs> to tell. Um, but for those that, you know, have probably put family to the side, what would you say to them, right? When you say put family to the side, let me understand. I mean, so, you know, some people focus on the job. They focus on the industry such that mm. they lose track of, you know, family. Oh, well, as much as possible. Luckily for me, I have a fantastic wife. So mm. we try to balance the act. She's busy, I'm busy. Mm -hmm. But that doesn't mean we do like Like, for the past three days now, the kids have resumed school online. I, I, we're talking about it before we got in there. <laughs> and then, online yeah, she has to go to work. I have a lot of time on my hands to, mm. I can manage, control my time. So mm -hmm. I'll have to supervise the kids online. And when, of them go sleepy yeah. you know, yeah. or, get, or get distracted and, mm -hmm. and all that. So we try to balance family life and balance. all that and okay. be all inclusive. And they understand what daddy does, they understand what mommy does. Mm -hmm. And so it, it's easy. But um, having said that, bringing them to the fore, the public, I don't like that. I don't like this. So I keep yeah, my fine. family on the sideline nice. and focus on my career. It, it will be uh, because when so you subject your, family, your children to do and your family wife to do this kind of thing, um, I don't, I don't, I'm not the social media yeah. kind of person. If you go check my Instagram, you, I, I don't think I will hit 100. But I don't let that determine me. Okay. I don't let social media determine who I am. I don't. Because yeah. I'm still who I am. See, Shagwa, I'm still black arrow, nothing changes. <laughs> well, right. black arrow, and, the, and, the, and the people who are my supporters, <laughs> the people who are my greatest fans are not even on social media. Mm. Nice. If mm. you go to Ajegunle, you go to wow. Rile, you go to wow. Agege, you find those people. So. Uh, some people even come on social media. I'm not saying there's anything wrong about it. Please don't get me wrong. Okay. It's nice, fantastic if I have Let's followers see. or not. Let's but some people just come there to come to see what's going on with you. Okay, okay, okay. Let's <laughs> <laughs> see some of and that. Um, yeah. uh, great work, uh, Shegra Rize uh, has to offer. Um, it will be remiss of us not to actually show that uh, while he's here with us. So let's take these and uh, we'll be back with more questions, I guess. Baby, are you, baby, what are you doing with this now? Do you remember my colleague, Brigadier General Lani? Yes. He's in hospital. He suffered a massive heart attack. 